Here is a crocodile. Crocodile. Well, hello there. Nice to meet you. Now, let's get to know the crocodile. The crocodile is a reptile. Crocodiles live in lakes and rivers in very hot places. Crocodiles love to lie and float on the water's surface, drifting slowly away. Ah, a nice cold dip. It's just the best for a crocodile like me. Oops, I need to bring my whole tail with me. I'm quite long, you see. When the crocodile floats on the water's surface, it looks a lot like a log. It can be hard to see because it's camouflaged. Can you see it? I'm practically invisible! <laughs> Yoo -hoo. Look here! This is the crocodile's skin. A crocodile has scales all over its body. They're like small plates of very dry and thick skin. It also has a lot of teeth. A crocodile has about 65 teeth. That's pretty crazy, right? If a crocodile loses a tooth, a new one grows right away. So throughout its life, the crocodile can have up to 1,000 teeth. Now, let's take a closer look at the crocodile's eyes. Take a look at this eye. It's completely yellow. And now you'll see something really cool. It has what looks like three eyelids on one eye. Can you see it? There's an inner eyelid. There. That inner eyelid works like a pair of swimming goggles. Oh, did you see it again? Shall we see it one more time? There. It's like a membrane over its eye. And that allows it to see underwater. Can you see where the crocodile's eye is here? Can you find it? There! Did you see it? A crocodile often lies with its mouth wide open. Do you know why that is? The crocodile needs to cool down. It's the easiest way it can get rid of heat. Ah, uh, this is making me parched. It's just so hot. Why is it so hot? Well, it's because of the humidity we're having right now. <laughs> ah, that annoying fly. It flew right into my throat. Well, what I was about to say was that it's because of the humidity we're having right now. That's, that's just what I wanted to say. Here are three animals that are also reptiles. Can you find the gecko? It is the smallest one. Yeah, there it is. That's the gecko. Can you now find the iguana? It is the green one. Yes, that was the iguana. Can you now find the Komodo dragon? It's the big one. Correct, that was the Komodo dragon. There are reptiles in many sizes, but the crocodile is the biggest. Now let's learn about what the crocodile eats. Nom nom, delicious meat for a hungry crocodile. I'm so starved I could eat a whole crunchy cow. Crocodiles are predators. 
that means they eat other animals. But really, they're a bit lazy. They just lie still and wait for the animal to come close enough to attack. Look here, it's caught a bird. I'll just swallow it whole. That's what I'm best at. Nom nom, yummy dinner. Come here. Ow, 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 ow. <sighs> if a crocodile catches a really big animal, it can be full for a whole month. Wow, there's a lot of duckweeds in here. Then there must be a duck around here somewhere, and I want to eat it. Hmm, where are you, little ducky? The worst thing about this green stuff is that it follows me everywhere. It sticks to my body. When I go in the sun, it dries up completely, and I turn green all over. Hey, don't laugh at me. In fact, in a way, you could say I look like the Hulk, don't I? Look, it's a baby crocodile. Crocodiles lay around 50 eggs at a time. The tiny crocodiles have to be careful because many animals want to eat them. But when they get bigger, they eat the other animals. Come on, give me this meat, you clumsy crocodile. No, I want it. I need to become big and strong. But you're already strong. Ah, eh, can't I have just a little bitty bite? Crocodiles are social animals and live closely together. Ah, uh, I can definitely put my head here on your back. Yes, I can. Ah. Uh. Oh, yes, it's nice that you're lying there. That's completely natural for us crocodiles. Now that we're lying here, shouldn't we sing a song? You know, just to socialize a bit. Yeah, good idea. A sing-along. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Wait, wait. Isn't that song about peace on Earth or something? Does that mean we have to stop eating the other animals? No, no, silly. Hmm, all this talk about eating. I'm feeling a bit snacky. Let's go hunting. See you later, alligator. Not in a while, crocodile. Here is a crow. Crow. Hello. I bet you don't know much about crows. Not many people do. There are crows all over the world. They can look different from each other. Some are all black and some are gray and black. Crows are omnivorous. That means they eat both plants and animals. They can eat berries and grains but also insects, worms, and mice. Ah, tasty mouse. Mmm, tastes so good. Hey, get away, that's mine. I was here first. Look at how it drinks. It has to dip its beak to the side to get some water. Oh, I need a bath. But it's freezing. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's too cold. I'm not going under. Ah, it's so lovely in here. It's all about getting in quickly. Once you're in, it's great. Ah, he's so annoying. Do you want to hear the crow's sound? Listen. Take a look here. The boy and the crow have become friends. Really good friends, in fact. Ah, you're such a sweet boy. Do you want to play with me? Hey, hey, stop messing with my feet. The little boy found the crow when it was a baby chick and all alone. 
Now the crow is all grown up. The boy and the crow are still close. He can even feed it by hand. If the crow wants to fly away, it can, but it would rather be close to the family. Um, hey, does the boy have time for a play date today? <laughs> they have a lot of fun things in the house, but Where are you? why did they bring a monster in? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I found you. Where am I? I know you're sitting there. Here I am. What do you... Uh, I do understand that you're hiding Where back there, you, you monster. Peek-a-boo. Oh, there you are. <laughs> now you're doing it again. I get it. You're right there. Uh, I guess I don't get it, really. I can see you. <laughs> After such a fuss, it's nice to be cuddled by the boy's mom. Ah, it's nice. There's just one thing I don't like. That cat. Pfft. Cats are only good for licking their fur. And their butts. They even have an attitude while they do it. And the dog, I mean, feathers are way better than fur. Man's best friend. Move. Move now. Go away. Get out of the way, furball. Beat it. I want to be their pet. In just a moment, we'll visit the boy and the crow again. But first, you need to help me. These birds look like crows, but they're not crows. They're in the crow family. Can you find the raven? It's the biggest one. Yes, that's right. That was the raven. Now, can you find the magpie? It has black and white feathers. Yes. That was the magpie. Now can you find the rook? The rook has gray on the top of its beak. Yes, that was the rook. There they are, a rook, a raven, and a magpie, all part of the crow family, but not actually crows. Hey, why are you talking about rooks and ravens and magpies? Wasn't this supposed to be about crows? Okay then. Do you want to know what crows do in the winter to stay warm? Look how blown up it looks. That's because it puffs up its feathers. So feathers work like a winter coat. That's clever. That's right, we are clever. There's a song about how clever we are. Do you want to hear it? We've written it ourselves. Crow, crow, clever crow. Uh, sorry. Uh, just finding the tune. <clears throat> crow, crow, clever crow, sitting in the tree. It's a crow show, now come on, let's go. The crows will steal the show. Now everybody! Crow, crow, clever crow, sitting in the tree. It's a crow show, now come on, let's go. The crows will steal the show. Wow, that was a great song. Now let's visit the boy and the crow again. Uh, should we ride the bike? Uh, be careful. Why not ride the bike? Come on. Yeah, bike, bike, bike. No, no, don't touch my beak. Yeah, come on up. There's plenty of room. Oops. Uh, uh, okay. Um, uh, okay, I'll just jump off. You want to race me? <laughs> just watch. I'm going to win. I'm the fastest crow in the world.
You've watched Bubbly Blue Balloon. We hope you liked the story. If you do, remember to subscribe.